Prime Minister Narendra Modi writes open letter to people of the country as NDA completes one year of its second term. India sees highest spike of 7,964 fresh COVID positive cases since outbreak of pandemic. Fresh cases continue to rise in Assam and Tripura. Over 3.81 lakh people in seven districts of the state affected by the first pair of floods in Assam. Chief Minister Sonowal reviews flood situation in Nalbari and Bopeta districts. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to share his thoughts in his Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio at 11 a.m. tomorrow. And Nagaland Chief Minister Nifu Rio visits Ganesh Nagar, Dimapur, under Dhansiri Park to take stock of ongoing renovation works of institutional quarantine centre. Good evening viewers and a warm welcome to Northeast News. I am Changam Tumra and now the details. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has written an open letter to the people of the country as his government completes one year of its second term. The Prime Minister in his letter listed out several initiatives, achievements and big decisions taken by the government while expressing confidence of victory in the country's battle against coronavirus. The topic of laborers and migrant workers found special mention in his letter. Modi expressed stress that the laborers and migrant workers have undergone tremendous suffering during the COVID times and the government is working in a united and determined way to alleviate their troubles. He also said that becoming self-reliant and moving forward based on our own abilities was the only way to do it for our Atman, Atmanibhar Bharat. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's policy have bridged the development gap of the last 60 years in just six years of his tenure as Prime Minister of the country, said BJP President J.P. Nada. Highlighting the achievements of the Modi government to mark the first anniversary of the second term of the NDA government, Nada underscored how the first year of the second term of Modi government has been a year of accomplishments. He said the government handled the unprecedented challenges including that of the corona pandemic in a very bold manner. Nada asserted that the thrust of current, current NDA government on Make in India has resulted in domestic manufacture of ventilators, which were a commodity of import until recent past. He also underlined the philosophy of Vasudev Kutumbakam, the world is one family, by highlighting in, in India's generous approach of sending critical COVID care drugs to over 120 countries. पांच पांच सौ इस प्रकार की वर्चुअल रैलीज करेंगे समाज के विभिन्न वर्गों की रैलीज करेंगे ताकि मोदी जी का संदेश जन जन तक जाए और उनके द्वारा किए गए कार्य in spite of the recovery rate reaching 47.40% in the country with 11,264 recovered cases in the last 24 hours, however, the country saw the high spike with 7,964 fresh COVID positive cases since the outbreak of the pandemic in the country. This take the total number of COVID positive cases to 1,73,763. As per data, 265 deaths have been registered in the last 24 hours, taking the nationwide toll to 4,971. Assam records a total of 43 new cases in the last 24 hours, out of which five are from Dhubri, five from Golakhat, three from Borpeta, one from Bongaigaon, and 29 by various labs whose districts are yet to be identified. This takes the total COVID positive cases in the state to 1,100, 100, out of which 930 are active cases. However, on a positive note, 163 cases have recovered till date, and the death toll in the state still stands at four. The COVID-19 positive cases continue to shoot up in Tripura with 10 more new cases detected in the last 24 hours, taking the total active cases to 80. Chief Minister Biplap Kumar Deb on Friday night tweeted that out of the 10 people found COVID-19 positive in Tripura after a test of 915 persons, one person is a Gurugram returnee, eight of them are are Bangladesh returnees and one person is from 86 battalion BSF. Airport passengers are all tested negative. Meanwhile, while briefing the media, Law and Education Minister Ratan Lal Nath said that the state has registered as many as 255 positive cases and out of which 80 cases are active. Till date, 26,938 samples were collected and 
25,403 swabs have already been tested. At present, 510 persons are placed under facility quarantine and 10,771 persons are home quarantined, he said. In Assam, the 8th COVID-19 testing laboratory was inaugurated in Jorhat by State Health Minister Himant Biswa Sharma. The first ever COVID-19 testing laboratory outside the health sector in Jorhat has been instituted by the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research in the Northeast Institute of Science and Technology at Jorhat. Equipped with automated machines, the laboratory minimizes the human physical contact in testing. Gracing the occasion, the minister appealed other institutes to come forward in the lines of NAIST. The minister added that in a couple of days, more than a lakh confirmatory tests shall be done in the state. The minister also stated that within June 15th, the number of such testing facilities in the state shall rise to 12. From Sunday next, work for a new lab shall start in GMCH in Guwahati in collaboration with the Indian Institute of Advanced Science. With two more deaths reported on Friday, the death toll in the first period of floods this year in Assam rose to five. Over 3.81 lakh people in seven districts of the state are affected. At present, a total of 3,81,320 persons in 356 villages of Nalbari, Golpara, Nagaon, Hojai, West Karbianglong, Dibrugar and Tinsukia districts are affected by floods. Nearly 22,000 persons uprooted due to floods are now taking shelter in 190 relief camps in four of the affected districts. Gualpara with 16,300 topped the list followed by Hojai with 5,299 staying in these camps. Still in Assam, Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal today visited the flood affected areas of Nalbari and Borpeta districts and took stock of the conditions of the people taking shelter in the relief camps. The Chief Minister visited the Bal Bhavan Vidyapit flood relief camp at Seria Toli village in Nalbari, where people affected by the flooding of Pagaladia River had taken shelter and took stock of their problems and grievances. Assessing the relief services provided by the district administration, the Chief Minister interacted with the 254 inmates of 75 families in the camp, including pregnant women and children. He also took stock of baby foods, animals, fodder and medical services provided to the flood-affected people. Assuring full support of the state government in this hour of need to those ravaged by floods, Sonowal said that all help would be extended from the government. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will share his thoughts with the people in the country and abroad in his Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio at 11 a.m. tomorrow. It will be the 65th episode of the monthly radio program. It will be broadcast on the entire network of All India Radio and Doordashan and also on Air News website www.newsonair.com and News on Air mobile app. It will also be streamlined on the YouTube channels of AIR, DD News, PMO and Information and Broadcasting Ministry. AIR will broadcast the program in regional languages immediately after the Hindi broadcast. The regional language versions will also be repeated at 8 in the evening. Nagaland Chief Minister Nifu Rio on Friday last visited Ganesh Nagar Dimapur under Dhansiri Par to take stock of the ongoing renovation works of the industrial estate which has been converted to COVID-19 institutional quarantine centre as per the decision of the cabinet. As more stranded Naga people are arriving from other states, accommodation is becoming a challenge especially for Dimapur as out of the 18,000 plus returnees, Dimapur district has to shoulder the responsibility of housing more than 70%. In a brief program during his visit today, Rio, on behalf of the government and his colleagues, expressed profound gratitude and appreciation to the Nagaland police. He also donated rupees 5 lakhs to honor and acknowledge the Jawans. Nagaland Board of Control, um, Nagaland Board of School Education declared the results of HSLC and HSSLC examinations 2020 today. Top position in HSLC was secured by Holy Cross School Dimapur Abhi Chakraborty with a percentage of 98.33. And in HSSLC in science stream, Anushka Bhattacharji from Pranab Vidyapit High Secondary School Dimapur topped with 95%. Icha Upadhyay from Christian Higher Secondary School Dimapur with 98.80% in commerce stream and Chumlimbar R 
from Loyola Higher Secondary School Kifere with 92% in arts stream. Briefing the media, Aseno Sekose, chairman of NBSC, stated that this year also the girls outshine the boys. Naga People's Front NPF Manipur State Unit President Awangbao Niumai on Friday was inducted in the ministerial berth in the Chief Minister N. Biren Singh led BJP coalition government. Manipur Governor Dr. Najma Hebdullah administered the oath of office and secrecy to Niumai at the Raj Bhavan in the state capital Imphal. The newly sworn in Minister Awangbao, 49, who is also the sitting MLA of Tamay constituency of Tamenglong district, said that he is grateful to Governor Heptula and Chief Minister N. Biren Singh for making him one of the minister in the N. Biren Singh ministry. However, the state government is yet to announce the portfolio to be assigned to the newly inducted NPF minister. Meghalaya Cabinet has approved for new rules for granting of permission to open new schools and prescribed norms and criteria for extending financial assistance to schools in the state. After the Cabinet meeting, Education Minister Lakmen Rimbui informed that a decision was taken in order to streamline the education sector in the state. Rimbui, however, pointed out that some of the school buildings do not meet the standard norms under the disaster, disaster management rules. The minister also said that a decision of reopening of schools and other educational institutions in the state will only be taken once the national lockdown is lifted or permission is granted by the center. In another development, the Meghalaya cabinet has approved to allow the real estate appellate tribunal in Guwahati to hear a case pertaining to the state since the real estate development is still in a nascent state in Meghalaya. The Tripura government has decided to set up a center for good governance. The new center would start functioning from State Institute of Public Administration and Rural Development, SIPAR, Camper Bazaar, Agartala. At present, only four states, Assam, Gujarat, Odisha and Telangana, have such center apart from National Center for Good Governance in Hyderabad. Informing this to the media, Law Minister Ratan Lal Nath said, the BJP IPFT government has been focusing on good governance right from the beginning. The proposed center for good governance will study and assimilate on how to improve good governance in the state. It will link up with similar institutions across the country, he said. The main objective of having such a center is to identify the loopholes in the system and take remedial measures to remove the shortcomings in the governance. He said, adding that it would ensure citizens centric government. Based on a tip-off, the troops of 28th Battalion BSF intercepted a person on motorcycle near Kalaichar, close to the international boundary on Thursday. After carrying out a detailed search of the suspected person, 1,750 suspected WY Yaba tablets were recovered. The apprehended person was identified as Rahilbert Sangma from Southwest Garo Hills. BSF Pro UK Nile informed that the organization was working to crack down the syndicate involved in this racket. It is to be noted that Yaba tablets containing the banned psychotropic methamphetamine were meant to be smuggled to Bangladesh. He further informed that BSF has already intensified its vigil along the Indo-Bangladesh border to prevent any attempts of infiltration and trans-border crime as the country strives to fight the spread of coronavirus. And finally, to end the news, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi writes open letter to the people of the country as NDA completes one year of its second term. India sees highest spike of 7,964 fresh COVID positive cases since outbreak of pandemic. Fresh cases continue to rise in Assam and Tripura. Over 3.81 lakh people in seven districts of the state affected by the first spate of floods in Assam. Chief Minister Sonowal reviews flood situation in Nalbari and Borpeta districts. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to share his thoughts in his Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio at 11 a.m. tomorrow. And Nagaland Chief Minister Nifu Rio visits Ganesh Nagar, Dumapur and the Dhansiri Park to take stock of ongoing renovation works of Institutional Quarantine Centre. And that brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for watching. Namaskar.